Okay, so I am going to speak on angels numbers versus prophetic numbers. For many of you um, that see numbers, you're not going to look for numbers when your eyes turn to the number or you pick up your phone or you look at a license plate, you're having thoughts with God about certain revelations that's coming in your head and then your your eyes who get fixated on maybe 222, 444, This happens a lot. You can't help this. Um, but there are some people, um, and, and I'm just going to back this up just a little bit. In the name of Jesus, Father, guide this video. I pray that you increase in me completely. So I will speak <coughs> your words and not my own words in the name of Jesus. I pray against every witch and warlock right now in the name of Jesus that will stop the hearers from hearing and understanding what you want to speak in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, God will use anything. When I first started seeing numbers, um, I, I didn't know what to think. Okay? I couldn't run from it. My attention will, will turn to it. I would leave at a certain time. It would be a triple number. God will lead me into the living room. My eyes will land on the clock. And if you when I first started, it was 2017, the end of 2017, it'd be 333. That was the first number. Jeremiah 333. Call unto me, and I will show you the secret and the hidden things. That you don't know, meaning you ain't read it in the Bible, is in the is not in the Bible. Um, the secret and the hidden things that you know not secret. That means the father hasn't revealed it, but he's going to reveal that thing to you. It's been hidden from all other eyes, but he's going to reveal it to you. We have to read the Bible, of course, in context in the name of Jesus. There are many people that are being spoken to do numbers and have this experience. And at first I didn't know what was going on and I was led. I started trying to figure it out. So I would go to angel numbers over time. And it was a very short time because God was working on me and pulling me out of certain beliefs that I have been groomed into that was not of him. And so thank you, Holy Spirit, for keeping me focused in the name of Jesus. The angel numbers, when I would read them, I begin to say, this can't be it. In my spirit, I begin to say, this can't be it. It wasn't edifying. It wasn't hitting me in the place where I needed it to hit me in the place. I would read something and I'm just like, oh, okay. But is there more? Is there a deeper meaning? The difference between... <coughs> Funny how all of a sudden I start um, talking about a deep message and I start coughing. But the difference between the angel numbers and the prophetic numbers is the prophetic numbers lead you to the word of God. It leads you to deliverance. There are scriptures that the Lord is speaking over your life that... When you see that triple number and you take it to the word of God and you call unto God and ask him what it is, he'll lead you to the scripture that is specifically for you in that moment to help break off something, to come against a lie that the enemy is speaking to your mind um, in that moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. And the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In that moment, God is speaking. He's assuring. He's confirming. And many of you um, have this understanding, but I'm doing this for video for those of you that don't understand. You're a believer and you don't understand why there is a certain amount of people that are seeing numbers and you can't help it. It's, it's something that we're not chasing. So the difference between the angel numbers is I, you know, angel numbers are like Satan's book, Satan's, his, his way um, of uh, explaining something. Cause remember Satan comes in the angel of light. Okay. He always comes in an angel of light. There's no deliverance. When you read angel numbers, it is not pointing out your sin. It is not correcting you. It is not telling you to, is not um, allowing you to cast down. 
um, teaching you about casting down, is not teaching you, um, is not giving you discernment against Satan and the tricks and the devices of Satan. None of that is. It keeps you on a surface level and it keeps you from not digging deeper. It does not heal you. Okay. When I, when the Lord was, was, was speaking to me in the name of Jesus and he was pointing me, um, he led me to, to do it the right way, to look it up the right way, to research it the right way. It's in the word of God. He said, I'm speaking to you in scripture, you know, um, and then I come across other individuals that were going through the same thing, you know, and saying that they were looking it up, you know, the Hebrew meaning of certain numbers when God was, you know, was speak um, to them, right. To give them guidance. So when I finally found the way, every number that I was seeing, I wrote them down and I began to search every scripture in the word of God, two, 22, 22, 22, whatever, 55, 55, 55, five or five, 55, whatever. I was looking through the scripture, um, for myself. I was searching, I was finding answers and I was looking them all up in Hebrew and Greek. Let me tell you, I would come across scriptures that God was trying to speak to me the whole time that he was relaying to me and assuring, trying to assure me and confirm something to me the whole time. I was still living a life of sin, a slave to sin. There were certain things that the Lord was pointing out. That was, you know, when he was bringing me out of religion, he was pointing it out in the word of God. I came across so many scriptures that the Lord was using to break also yokes off of me that weren't of him for bondage that I was in, that I didn't know I was in. He, when I was going through warfare and I didn't know what the heck was going on, I would see 828, 818, Romans 828. And you know that when all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and that are called according to his purpose, I was called according to his purpose. Um, also Romans 8, 18, the sufferings of this time, cause I was suffering. I didn't know what the heck was going on. There was a transformation going on. There was a shift going on. There was a plucking going on in my life. And I didn't know what was, you know, I was trying to figure it out. And God was speaking to me and he wanted me to get in his word, but the enemy was fighting me not to get in his word, in the word. So this was the way, because we're in the last days, God, God in the name of Jesus, he is calling his people. There have been rapid transformations in people's lives because how God has chosen to speak to people in this time. Some people, he has been speaking in this way for years and they, <coughs> excuse me, and they didn't understand it. And so many people have been led astray looking up angel numbers, but their life isn't, they don't have a relationship with God. Their life isn't lined up with the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. There's no um, deliverance from sin. They're still a slave to sin. There's no discernment. There's no heart transformation. You know, um, angel numbers, I'm telling you, God, the Satan is a copycat of God in every form. And this is what we must pay attention to. Um, also, Proverbs 16, 4, it says, The Lord has made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. He even made the wicked for the day of evil. He has made all things. So Satan is always trying to be God, play God. He's always wanted to get God, be God because of the pride in his heart. This is why he was kicked out of heaven. How God has chose to speak to me has brought me even closer to him and has sharpened my discernment in the way that I have never thought would be sharpened in the name of Jesus. Satan is a copycat. He, everything that God, I'm going to say this again, everything that God does, he copies off of it because he wants to be the God in your life. And if you don't know the word of God, and if you haven't formed a relationship with God, then you're going to continue to be tossed and driven back and forth, being a slave to sin. The enemy continually, he will continually have access to play on your mind and your thoughts and come against your identity. If you don't know who you are in your experience, because people's questions and their misunderstandings you know, can even shift you if you allow it, if you don't know who you are in God and whose you are, and you don't have a close knit relationship with the Lord. And this is real. 
and this is real for every believer, every believer, if you don't have a relationship with God, Satan can use anyone to come to you and shift and sift you. That's what the word of God says. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He wants to sift you. He wants to sift you. This is how we, this is why we got to be rooted. This is why we got to be planted completely in the heart of God, where he is on the throne of our hearts. So let me explain in the name of Jesus for those. No, I don't want to explain. I want to (coughs) come on, Holy Spirit. I want to encourage a lot of you that are, you know, you're seeing numbers all the time. This is why you have to go to the feet of Jesus and ask him search out. If I was in my Bible like this, always, always just turning pages, turning pages, looking up every number. I was hungry. I was thirsty because I was just like, wow, you talking to me like this. I couldn't run from it. I would pick up my phone and it'd be a certain number. 11, 11. So many people have been seeing this for a very long time. It could be Deuteronomy 11. I mean, even 111, Saw, um, Hebrews 111. The Lord is constantly encouraging you to walk by faith and not by sight. It is not what you see going on in the natural. It's what's going on in the spirit. Because the Lord has spoken to me in this way, my spiritual discernment has gotten uber, super duper strong. There's things I see in this world that I didn't even think was a lie. And it was, it's a lie. There are certain people operating that say they love Jesus that operate in a lie. And God has showed me that because of his word, because he has taken me through his word, because I studied to show myself for proof. I didn't even know I was studying. He just led me. I didn't really want to do it, but he led me and it made it exciting, you know, Eventually, yeah, it ended up turning like really exciting. And I just started like searching the word of God. Like, what are you saying? He was taking me to certain scripture that I really needed to hear certain things. I didn't even know about myself. And he took me to the word of God to point me how I align with um, David, Jesus, Elijah, in the name of Jesus. We can never think that when God pulls us out of bondage, that we know it all. I'm going to repeat that. We can't think that we know it all when God pulls us out of bondage because bondage comes with yokes, yokes of demonic lies that you got to be delivered from that come against and exalts itself above the knowledge of God and who he is and his character. If you have been seeing numbers in the name of Jesus, You have to search what God is saying to you out because there are so many people that quickly want the quick fix and go to angel numbers and there's no death. There's no life. Jesus, there's no spiritual edification. There's no conviction. There's so much more when we do it God's way. There is only one way. We don't know it all when God brings us out of bondage. Let me tell you, he equips us when we get into his word and he takes us to the scripture that he desires us to read in that moment. You can open up the Bible and just start reading. Um, And that's fine because God works that way too. But there is also a way where you ask the Lord, what should I read? And also he would just, it'll be a supernatural encounter where you will just start reading stuff that he is pointing out to you to read for that moment. It's like Jesus sitting right next to you, telling you which, which page to turn to. Um, it's been a very powerful experience for me. And I say this with love, but you know, um, there's a lot of people that don't understand. And a lot of it is, is believers. And, um, and it's okay. Cause you know, I have to always say, you know, God used the donkey. He used anything. He will use anything to speak. He will speak through the waters. He will speak through the winds. Jesus, God is sovereign. He's not in a box. He is sovereign. 
He is not in a box. And so my encouragement to you that are seeing numbers repeatedly and you're picking up your phone and, you know, um, you turn your eyes and you see it on the license plate and, you know, this, the Lord has aligned me in certain areas um, and I've had certain encounters with the Lord to where I would be behind a vehicle and it will say my name. Listen to me. It will say my name and a certain number and the Lord will, will um, tell me to look it up. God is that deep. He will supernaturally lead me. I'm telling you, <laughs> he would be leading me somewhere, telling me to go somewhere. And supernaturally, I would see my name somewhere with, along with a number. Um, just so, and it'll be something that I would be going through in my spirit and asking God about, and he'll take me right to the answer in the word of God, in the, in his word. He would say my name and give me the scripture. He's woke. He's woken me up with angels that way. I would see numbers in my sleep. Recently, I had a num. I seen um a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. I saw eighteen twenty two, which is Proverbs eighteen twenty two, and it was a basket right on the top, and somebody was painting, and the tip of the the paintbrush was yellow, which represents the presence of God. He even speaks through colors. He speaks through his animal. He speaks through his birds. So many different ways that God chooses to speak, He will speak. Don't let anybody deter you. If you are looking at it, looking in the word of God and you're researching God and you're hearing God and you're having encounters, don't let anybody deter you from that experience that you're having with God. Because let me tell you now, Satan will not lead you on a narrow road. He will not lead you into heart transformation. He will not lead you into being born again. He will not strengthen your discernment against evil and wickedness. There's always an easy way out. People look for the quick way and that will get you in trouble. Um, it's not edifying. It's never the right way. The quick way is never the right way. Waiting on God to know that he is God, to be still and know he is God is doing it the right way. Um, what was I going to say? Holy Spirit. Hmm. The Lord said he is not the author of confusion and people need to go to him and ask him for themselves. God desires to have a relationship with his children a bond with his children as this world goes, grows darker, as the, the, the hearts of men become more cold, they become colder, they wax cold. This is a time that we're in, you know, you're going to have people being used that listen to other spirits to come against you. And you must be planted and rooted in the Lord. Waiting on the Lord creates a bond, an unbreakable bond, because also while you're waiting, you're having encounters with the Lord to know that he is real. The things that he is doing in your life, the signs that he shows you, signs and wonders shall follow them. Hallelujah. Where is that scripture? Because he just put it in my spirit. It's, it's, it's an ax, right? No, no. I'll, I'll have to. Some, sometimes I'm not good at putting it at the bottom because the Lord always encourages Oh, hold on one second. Let me just go ahead and I didn't want this video to be long, but you know, the right ones will, will tarry. Um, it's, it's really good to read the Bible because if you don't, it'd be easy for you to be deceived. Really easy, really easy. One second, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. He said, and these signs shall follow them that believe. You're a believer in Christ and you believe um, by faith, everything, every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Signs 
will follow you. In my name, they shall cast out devils. In my name, they will cast out devils and they shall speak with new tongues and they shall take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it shall not hurt them. I let me tell you the stuff I have experienced with the Lord. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. I've prayed for people in long distances and, and watched and, and cast out demons. Um, God, God is, is, um, there's so much I can say about the Lord Jesus Christ There's so much I can say, but there are signs that will follow you, um, to show that he is Lord and he is speaking to you. Um, so yeah, um, I believe that that's it. And that was, uh, Mark 16, 17 through 18. So go ahead and read it. Mark 16, 17 through 18. The Lord even numbered the, the 12 tribes as well. This is so deep. Um, God is the originator of, of numbers. And, you know, it is, starts in Genesis, you know, on the first day, what did he create? On the second day, what happened? On the third day, what, did, what happened? On the sixth day, fourth, sixth, fifth, sixth day, seventh day, he rested. Complete fulfillment of everything that he created. Seven means complete. Each number in the Bible has a meaning. <laughs> And God speaks to us in three. So we'll see like three tr triple numbers, something established. You know, three also means complete in the word of God. I love God and how he never ceases to amaze me. The Lord never ceases to amaze my soul. And in my last video, I was talking about how I'm sitting in a miracle. And I'm going to explain eventually. I just saw two, two, two. Um, I, ugh. miracle signs and wonders, Acts 22, two, um, or two twenty two, one of those, but it's important to search for yourself, search for yourself. So you know that, you know, that it came from the word of God and nobody else. You feel me? Okay. I think, I think that's, that's, um, oh, Holy Spirit, well, please drop it in me, Father. If I'm not supposed to get on in the name of Jesus, get off. If I'm supposed to linger. He just desires his people to just come to him. If you don't have understanding, come to him. If you don't have wisdom, ask him, come to him, tarry with him, abide with him. We're responsible for, for learning to get knowledge of what he's trying to say. We're responsible for that. When he is speaking to us, don't get weary. Don't be lazy. Find out what he is saying. Don't disregard him. What is he saying? Don't put it off. Because God is speaking. He's speaking every day. He's so excited about his children. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord.